Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently let us know about a new info stealer called Luma in a recent blog post, which I'll leave linked in the description if you'd like some more info, because there's quite a lot of detail in this. Luma Stealer, breaking down the delivery techniques and capabilities of a prolific info stealer which has managed, according to this post, to affect over 394,000 Windows systems worldwide in a span of just two months between March the 16th this year and May the 16th this year. So this is quite interesting, but just to give you a quick overview for the purpose of this video. Now, apparently Luma has been used by cyber criminals as a tool to steal sensitive information from apps like browsers, cryptocurrency wallets and other areas and Microsoft has mentioned in the actual blog post how Luma has been distributed via various malicious campaigns including phishing emails, malvertising, drive-by downloads on compromised websites, trojanized apps and misleading fake captures and so on. Now, just to focus a little bit more on malvertising, what that is all about. Malvertising, according to Microsoft, is where threat actors inject fake advertisements into search engine results, targeting software-related queries such as Notepad++ download or Chrome update. Clicking these poisoned links leads users to cloned websites that closely mimic legitimate vendors, but instead deliver the Luma stealer. So that's what malvertising is all about, in case you're unaware. And as I've mentioned previously on the channel in numerous videos, a big way to prevent this is to stay away from dodgy websites and make sure you're doing your downloading of browsers and the like from official websites for those actual browsers. I personally think that downloading from dodgy websites is one of the biggest reasons why people get infected with different malware and trojans and so on. Now Microsoft has also mentioned that Luma can still affect you in other ways. So if we head back to the blog post just to focus on the infection capabilities of Luma. You can pause the video at the relevant timestamp. I'm just going to go through this very quickly. That can be in browser credentials and cookies, cryptocurrency wallets and extensions, various apps, user documents, and system metadata. Now, if we just head over to a heat map provided by Microsoft, yeah, we can see the worldwide effect that the, the Luma Stealer has. And red obviously signifies the most affected area. So that would be, so that would be the Eastern USA, Eastern South America, Europe is big time affected. So that would just give you an indication how widespread the Luma Stealer has impacted users globally in those different regions. Now, although this is a kind of a warning from Microsoft regarding the Luma Stealer, the good news is, is that Microsoft has mentioned from the blog post that Microsoft Defender, which comes bundled by default, with Windows um, 10 and Windows 11, as you may well know, virus and threat protection, is now capable of detecting Luma. So what I would suggest is just make sure that your Windows Defender, Microsoft Defender is up to date, which if you have updates enabled, will be almost updated on a daily basis as an automatic security intelligence update anyway. And if we head back to that announcement, yeah, we can see that Microsoft Defender Antivirus detects this threat as the following malware. Here's the list of what it will detect Luma as. And you can just pause the video if you want to check this out more in depth. So I'm just putting this out there. I think as an average home user, you're going to be okay. I think this is affecting more corporations and enterprise businesses. But although it's a warning from Microsoft so at the end of the day, if you practice good browsing habits, you stay away from dodgy websites, you keep your browsers fully patched and up to date, 
and you keep your Windows system and your Microsoft Defender fully up to date, I think you'll be covered. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.